Hi, this is Alan from Hawk Dive and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that is really cool for content creators, especially streamers, about making their face kind of look a little better or different on streams. So why don't we talk about Prism Lens today from Prism Live Studio, which I did cover in this YouTube channel before. Um, but yeah, let me hop onto my desktop to show you exactly what the Prism Lens does. So right now we are on my desktops specifically on the website of Prism Live Studio. As you can see, unlike before, there was only Download Prism Live Studio. Now we also have the Download Prism Lens. Now let's talk more about the Prism Lens first. Basically, Prism Lens is kind of like an external, internal webcam. I mean by external, it is outside of your actual webcam, but internal, which means it is still on your computer. There's no actual, literal, physical external device. Now, the thing with the Prism Lens is basically it takes your webcam input, put it over on the software, and on the software, it's basically kind of like a TikTok. TikTok that allows you to edit out some parts of your face, such as the chin, your eyebrows, your skin. You can basically retouch yourself there. But yeah, there's Prism Lens. It's the version 1. It just came out about a week ago. And as you can see, you can do virtual backgrounds, beauty effect, color filters, color correction, and you can even use your mobile phone with it. Now, I'm not gonna scroll through this because we're gonna be checking it out anyway. And also, if you don't wanna read this very long article from the actual Prism Live Studio official Medium account, you can read my article over on hotdive.com that is about this video. So why don't we download it and install it and use it? So let's click here. Again, all links will be in the description down below. Click on the download Prism Lens. It is only currently available for Windows machine. I'm going to install or download it over onto my desktop. It is downloaded. We can now click on it and install it. Let's click on run. Let's click it again and change it to English because that's my main language. So I'm just going to press install. So this is basically Prism Lens. As soon as you install it, after you launch it, this is how it's going to look like. As you can see, it is currently showing Elgato Camera Hub virtual camera right here. So let me just go and quickly put this webcam over to the actual Prism Lens application. So give me one second. So now I have the C920 on the Prism Lens application. And hi, you can see me here. So this is how it looks like. And there are some things that you can change, but first let me touch on the right side of your camera. So this is my C920 and there's the camera device properties. At the start, this would be set into Y, U, Y2, and then the frames is like 5 FPS, and then this is like 600 by, by something. So you just want to change it to your actual resolutions and FPS first. Most likely, it'll be 1280 by 720 or 1920 on the resolution, and then FPS would just do 30, and then video format, make sure it is set to MJPEG. So now everything is cool and all. What can we do? The first thing right here, let's walk you through to this left panel right here with the blur on it. So as you can see, if I move right now, you know, I don't have my background blur as I, you know, what I have on OBS. Last week, I recently created a video about how you can add a professional kind of blur with just your webcam and softwares without buying a real camera. Here you can do that too. As you can see, I can add myself a blur. And honestly, this one actually uses better algorithm to see what to blur. Um, I like the blur. I honestly do like this blur and you know, 38, really good. So I think we'll stick with this one for the rest of the video. But yeah, that's what we have here. But that's basically the first feature that we have to blur. So on the bottom left of the screen, you basically have three prism lenses. As you can see on the top right here, you have three presets. Basically, if you have three cameras or three different presets, beauty effects or whatever, whoever person is using your PC, you can have three of them. So as you can see right here, you can change the resolution to all of that. This is basically the output. And then you can also change the quality. So I'll just set mine to maximum all. But um, yeah, I'll just cancel that for now. We're good with that. So what else? You can remove the background. As you can see, my background is removed here, but it's not, it's not really that great with it. So I'm just going to go and stick with my original. You have free prism backgrounds that you can, you can change into which is what I'm doing right now. You know, this one's a little overlay, so it actually goes on top. But as you can see, it's not the best, but it does the job done. But I'll go back to original. 
Now let's go here on the beauty effect, the second one on the right side tab panel, beauty effect right here if you enable it. As you can see, we have the sharp, we have the cute, and we have the natural. So as you can see, a little bit of my chin is changing. And as you can see, my skin has also changed a tad bit. So as you can see right here, there you go, I wasn't moving there just so you can see what is changing. Actually, let me turn off the blur effect for now. There you go, so you can clearly see it. Also the skin, as you can see, this part of my face. It does some blur, just so it can make my skin look much, much more smooth. <laughs> but yeah, you can change it. You can make your eyes bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, nose, more pointed, less pointed, my chin, normal, or this is actually the cheekbone, moves, more of that. You know, you can customize it just like TikTok. But yeah, I'm just sticking with the natural, with my skin a little lower. You can save it as a custom filter. We can do that. Save it like this, natural one. Now we have our own. But yeah, that is that. That is really cool. Now, the Prism Mobile linkage, you can basically use your phone as a camera right here. As you can see, use the Prism Mobile app as a Prism lens camera through a device. But my phone's outside right now and it is charging. So we're not going to do that. But basically... It just allows you to put your phone connected to the prism lens and you can basically select it right here connect prism mobile and then basically your phone's camera is being used which is also great basically like epoch cam uh, but for free and the next one the tab is color correction we can change the gamma that is basically kind of like a brightness and then let me just put that back down you can change the contrast you can change the intensity it's like a flashbang. Um, you can change the saturation. And then you can also change the U. I'm now a blue alien. But um, yeah, that is basically this part. Uh, you can also add a color multiply, such as a red. Now I am in the red room. And now I am somewhere that is really on a party club, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's a really cool filter. Not gonna lie. You cannot set it to zero, like everything back to zero. You have to manually type them. There's no feature such as a double tap or whatsoever. So let me just do zero real quick, just so I can put everything back. Select color, and we're just gonna do, we're gonna type it out. We're gonna do zero, 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 F, F. There you go. There you go. Should be, I think, I think this is still brighter than what I had before, but that is kind of close to being default. Maybe they should add an actual default settings, everything. But lastly, on the right side of the tab, we have color filters. Basically, again, just like TikTok, you can just select which one you like. If you like one, especially if you have a higher quality camera than mine, then these filters should look great on your webcam. But um, for now, let's do black and white, because why not? And now, how can I add this to OBS? So, this is how we add it. Basically, you go into your OBS. This is what I'm using to record right now. What I can do here is right click on the sources tab, go to add, go to video capture device. Let's do prism lens one. Right here, I'm just gonna go and select prism lens one. And then you don't have to change anything of the FPS anymore. You can set it to just the device default because you've already changed it anyway over on the prism lens application and the broom. I can just press okay. And I am now a black and white. Maybe I should start making my hawk that video like this. But yeah, that is basically the Prism Lens application. So now if you want to do it over at Discord, you can head over to Discord. You can click on the user settings. You can go into voice and video. And from there, scroll down and change the camera to Prism Lens 1. And then let's do a test video. Hi, you can see me right here. Same thing that I have on this application. But yeah, that is where I'm going to be ending this video. And that is basically this video. That is Prism Lens. Hopefully you learned something in this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And of course, go ahead and visit us over at hotdad.com because we had the latest, greatest tech news and tips. So um, yeah, that is all. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.